When it comes to blood pressure regulation, there are two major mechanisms: the barrel reflex and the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system (RAS). In this course, we discuss medications tackling different stages in the cascade of RAS. Before we discuss individual medications, let's first review how RAS works. In this lecture, we will briefly discuss the two blood pressure regulating mechanisms: barrel reflex and RAS. Then, as we review each step in the RAS cascade, we tag various organs involved in RAS. Finally, we will list and map the medications working on rest. Our body is constantly in a dynamic state in which all internal activities are changing or adapting, but being kept in a functional range. This stable functional state is called homeostasis. There are two major mechanisms keeping our blood pressure at homeostasis. These two mechanisms are barrel reflex and renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. Barrel reflex is the immediate response to acute blood pressure changes. Therefore, it is accountable for our moment-to-moment -moment blood pressure status. Blood pressure regulated by barrel reflex is a result of autonomic nervous responses. On the contrary. RAS is responsible for long-term blood pressure regulation. It involves multiple organs and incorporates both neurologic responses and hormonal reactions. As indicated in this graph, the autonomic nervous system, including both sympathetic and parasympathetic responses, involves in barrel reflex. But this mechanism is not the emphasis for this course. We're going to focus on RAS. Renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system is responsible for the long-term control of the blood pressure. Neurologically, it is a sympathetic nervous response. Now, question: When RAS is activated, what the effect of RAS on cardiovascular system would be? Please pause the video and take 30 seconds to answer this question. The answer is rest would increase blood pressure and cardiac output, because when rest is activated, the sympathetic nervous system is activated. Another question: What effect would you expect of the medications working on rest? If we follow the trend of reasoning, we can anticipate that cardiovascular medications on RAS regulate the blood pressure by inhibiting, blocking, and antagonizing any step in the cascade of RAS. Right? Right. As a matter of fact, medications working on RAS are blah blah inhibitor, blah blah antagonist, blah blah blocker. Blah blah refers to the steps in the cascade of RAS. Many organs involved in RAS, including the heart, the kidney, the liver, the lung, and the adrenal cortex. In the cascade of RAS, hormone also plays a role. The story starts with the beta-1 adrenergic receptors. Beta-1 adrenergic receptors predominantly locate in the heart, the kidney, and the fatty tissue. In blood pressure regulation, when beta-1 adrenergic receptors in the heart are activated, the sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, and the ventricular muscles are excited. As a result, the cardiac contractility and the heart rate increase, leading to increased cardiac output, which in turn elevates blood pressure. When the beta-1 receptors in the kidney are excited. The kidney secretes renin, which facilitates the converting process of angiotensinogen to angiotensin one. Angiotensinogen is a serum globulin that is synthesized and released by the liver. Angiotensin one travels in the blood until it reaches to the lung. The endothelial cells inside the blood vessels in the lung produce and secrete a converting enzyme known as angiotensin converting enzyme (ACE), which then catalyzes the conversion of angiotensin one to angiotensin two. Angiotensin two is a very powerful vasoconstrictor. Not only does it cause vasoconstriction, 
but it also stimulates adrenal gland to release aldosterone. This hormone, aldosterone, acts on the distal tubule of the nephron in the kidney to retain sodium and water. It increases the blood fluid volume directly and cardiac output indirectly. As a result, blood pressure is elevated. Four groups of medications work on rest. ACE inhibitor tackles the converting process of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 receptor blocker binds to the receptors of angiotensin 2 at blood vessels, kidney, and adrenal gland. Renin inhibitor affects blood pressure by stopping converting process of angiotensinogen to angiotensin 1. This process happened at the very early stage of RAS. Aldosterone antagonist works at the last stage of RAS. Medications in this family interfere the hormonal effect and disturb the electrolyte movement in the kidney. Thank you for spending time with me. We will start the individual medications with ACE inhibitor in our next lecture.